Hi, I'm Jessica with Paper Mart, and Easter's just around the corner, and you know what that means. Lots of Easter baskets. You can never have too many. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super cool one. It's very unique. Here it is over here. It's this rose crepe paper basket, and it has a little cute embellishment on there from Paper Mart. Let me show you what you need to get started with this craft. Um, first of all, you're gonna need a pencil from home. Some cute little, we have little bumblebee embellishments here at Paper Mart. Some green paper shred for our grass metallic ribbon, any type of Easter candy, a metal tin, some crepe paper. We have sheets of this from Paper Mart in different colors you can pick from. And then um, a pair of scissors, a glue gun, and then I already have some of these cut out, but we have a template that you can connect to on our website too um, for this little flower petal there to trace. Okay, so um, getting started here, we're gonna just go ahead and um, start by covering our tin basket here. All right, so I've cut this piece already. We just basically, whatever size um, little metal pail here you have, you wanna cut a piece that maybe has an inch or so um, left on the outside because you're gonna fold it under. So just give yourself a little room there. But we're gonna um, take our hot glue here, and I like to start actually at the handle so I'll start by putting some along the line. This way. Just to help me get started here. I'll line this up. And we're just gonna do some more glue around this and just cover the whole pail. Okay, so once we've gotten to the end there, I'm gonna kinda line it up here and cut it to the appropriate length. Overlap it a bit. And I'll finish this up by gluing the ends. And we're gonna be covering this with our other um, petal pieces anyways, so. All right, and then for the handles here, we're just gonna take the scissors and I'll just cut a little slit here down the side so there's room for that. Same thing on the other side here, it's pretty close. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and tuck this all the way over the edges on the top and the bottom just to cover up the metal at the top. And then as you go along, we can just put little glue dots in there to kind of keep it, keep it tight. I'm just kind of wrapping it around for now. I have one that I've already done that's a little bit um, farther along and a little bit nicer, but we're just gonna do the same thing with the bottom here and glue it as we go. So let me take the one that looks a little bit cleaner for you. We've already finished. All right, so we've got that part down. And then for our flower petals, we're gonna take the template and just trace it on a piece of paper here or get it on a piece of paper. And then we're gonna use this to trace our flower petals, which I've already cut out. So we're gonna need three petals. I'll do one, trace one more. Once we have three of those, we're just gonna go ahead and start on one side, and same thing, we're just gonna glue it down here. I'll glue it on this piece first, along the edges here. And just leave some room at the top because that's the part we're gonna use to fold over. 
Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and attach it here. Line the bottom of the petal up with the bottom of the pail. Down here. And we're gonna do that all the way around here with the remaining petals. And they're just gonna kind of overlap a little bit as we go around. Once we have all of our petals on there, we're actually going to use um, our pencil again. And um, what you can kind of do to get that nice petal effect is actually um, take your pencil here and you can start just like stretching the crepe paper. It has a lot of um, like flexibility, so you can just kind of start folding it out here. I use the pencil just to kind of roll it over here a few times. You might have to do this a couple of times if you need to re-glue it a little bit too but that's the whole part of the flower. We want the petals to fold out. It's a lot of gifts. So you can just play with it a little bit. And with our last petal here, And this pail is best seen from the top. That's the coolest part about it is when you're looking down into it with the goodies that you put in there, you can see the cool flower effect. All right, so after we have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of our um, metallic ribbon here. Piece. And cut off a good length to go around the width of the pail. And we'll just go ahead and take this over here. I'm gonna tie a bow on it. of our ribbon here a bit. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna use some of our um, paper shred. It's our grass, grass shred. Um, fill up our pail. can use all of it in there actually. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to put some of our candy in there. Egg shaped candy. And then the funnest part to top it all off, I love our really fun embellishments. We have beads that come in different colors and butterflies. I just think these are adorable. So I'm going to put one more glue dot on the back of this. And we'll stick it here over by the handle or on the handle. And there you go, you have a really beautiful crepe paper rose basket here. I hope you guys enjoyed making this as much as I enjoyed showing you how to do it. Make sure you check out more of our videos on our YouTube site, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy Easter.